right, so today we're going to look at uh, cooking stews. A lot of times when we're cooking, we want to cook for a large group of people. And we're not sure because we're trying to cook vegan food. Maybe they're all vegan and that's cool, but then maybe they're not. So then we're going to find what can we cook that's vegan that really everybody's going to enjoy whether they're vegan or not. Stews are a good place to start. So we're going to start with the first stew, which is a fruit-based stew, which we would call ratatouille. Uh, ratatouille is considered what they call the peasant's dish. In other words, it's things that are easy to find during a certain growing season, things that peasants would eat. Uh, this dish is made primarily from fruits that are referred to as vegetables. Uh, main fruits for this dish are two types of squash or three types of squash. Today I'm using zucchini and yellow squash and mainly some eggplant. So those three are the main items and then I can add some other things for flavor, uh, spices, etc. But mainly it's considered uh, a simple fruit dish, cooked fruit dish and it's usually served over rice. So here we go. All right, so I got my eggplant uh, more or less cubed up here. Got a pan full. I got some oil in the bottom of the pan. I got a little crowd coming in later. So this is going to be for several servings for maybe 10 to 15 people. So I've got my eggplant cut up. I'm going to put sugar on top like I've showed you in the past. That sugar is to take the bite out of the eggplant and also to caramelize the eggplant a little. We got the sugar on, then we're going to put it on the fire. Alright, once the eggplant is caramelized, it's going to look like this. I just cooked it in the olive oil, sugar, and then I, right at the end I just added a little bit of water because I want the eggplant to get soft and be able to saturate everything, all the flavors that I'm going to add to it. Alright, so this is my uh, chopped up squash you got zucchini and yellow squash chopped up in there ready to go they haven't been cooked yet I'm now going to add the eggplant to that container now what I'm going to add to this I'm going to add uh, some red onion some yellow onion and just a little bit of carrot just to make this mix so that's going to go in there and now I'm going to add some mushrooms and then we're going to take it to the fire. Alright, so I added the mushrooms in. And the last thing I'm going to add in is this bowl of peppers. The multicolored peppers and a little red onion thrown in there. They're cut in fairly large pieces. And that's just to add both the flavor and also just a slight uh, twist in the way in which the food will ultimately be presented. So that's what all we're going to put in there. That's all we're going to put in there. The only other thing now to add is the herbs, salt, a little bit of sugar, and tomato sauce, and a little more olive oil in there. And then when we get it all cooked down, that will be our ratatouille that we'll put over rice. So right now, I'm just cooking this in the pan. I'm going to cook it down a little bit before I add the tomato sauce. Now all I did was I just added oil to the pan and I've been tossing that and it's almost ready for me to add the tomato sauce. I just want to cook it just a little bit. Don't have to add any water or anything because the water within the fruit is enough water to bring the steam up to cook the fruit. Now I'm going to start adding in the tomato sauce. I'm going to let that simmer for a while, put a top over it, let it stew for a while, 
and I'm gonna check the flavor and the only thing I'm gonna worry about is if I need to add a little bit of sugar or a little bit of salt now I'm gonna put in fresh basil I'm gonna put in rosemary and thyme combination with this and some olives and that's pretty much the type of flavor that I want for it we'll check it in a few minutes